Welcome to the How to Get a List of All Files in a Directory with Python course. My name is Alexandra and I'll be your guide. In this course, you will learn how to get a list of all files and folders in a directory in Python, how to get only files with loops and conditionals, how to recursively list with rglob, how to use Python glob patterns, conditional listing using glob, conditional listing using rglob, and advanced matching with the glob methods. If any of those methods sound strange to you, they will all be explained to you later throughout the course. Before diving in, a couple quick notes of the tools used in this course. The examples will be demonstrated using the IPython REPL. However, feel free to use your favorite IDE, editor, or REPL. This course will specifically be using a Windows path. If you're on another operating system, such as Linux or Mac OS, your path may look a little different. For example, Windows typically include the C drive in the path, where Unix-like systems typically represent this with a single forward slash. Throughout the course, if there is a significant difference in how Windows and Unix-like systems paths differ, you'll be alerted to those differences so you can continue to follow along. In this lesson, you will learn how to get a list of all files and folders in a directory in Python. Getting a list of all files and folders in a directory is a natural first step to many file-related operations in Python. When you're faced with many ways of doing something, it can be a good indication that there's no one-size-fits-all solution to your problems. Most likely, every solution will have its own advantages and trade-offs. In this course, you'll be focusing on the most general-purpose techniques in the Pathlib module to list items in a directory. It all begins with creating a path object, which will be different depending on your operating system. On Windows, you'll get a Windows path object, while Linux and Mac OS will return POSIX path. With that out of the way, it's now time to dive into listing folder contents. You can start by importing pathlib. Next, set desktop equal to pathlib dot path with a capital P, parentheses, and inside those parentheses, double quotes. And inside those quotes, you can add your path. The path for this example is c colon backslash users backslash Alexa backslash OneDrive backslash desktop. You may notice this path includes backslashes. If your path looks similar, it may cause an issue. If you hit enter, you can see the error. This is because in Python, backslashes are commonly used as escape characters. To make it a raw string instead, you can add an R before your path. This special prefix tells Python to treat backslashes as literal characters. So you can type desktop equal pathlib dot path, and this time add an R, and then your quotes with your path in between them. C colon backslash users backslash Alexa backslash OneDrive backslash desktop, and then close off those parentheses. Now when you hit enter, no error. Next, you can call the editor method on your desktop path object. From the slides, if you only need to list the contents of a given directory, and you don't need to get the contents of each subdirectory too, then you can use the path object's editor method. The editor method, when called on a path object, returns a generator that yields path objects representing child items. A generator in Python is a type of iterable object that generates values lazily. This will allow you to iterate over the contents of a directory without loading all file paths into memory at once, which can be useful when dealing with directories containing a large number of files. You can jump over to your REPL. Next, you can call the editor method on your desktop variable. The desktop variable contains a path object representing the file path to your desktop directory. When calling the editor method on your desktop variable, it will return a generator that yields path objects representing child items such as file or directory. So you can type desktop dot iter der with parentheses. And to see your list of files and folders, you can wrap the generator in a list constructor. So you can type list parentheses desktop dot iter der parentheses and then your closing list parentheses. Hit enter. As you can see, you get back a list of items. 
some of the items you might see is desktop.ini, notes, real Python, scripts, and todo.txt. Passing the generator produced by editor to the list constructor provides you with a list of path objects representing all the items in the desktop directory. The list of items contain both files and folders. In this demonstration, you will see Windows path objects. If you're a Unix user, you will have POSIX path objects instead. In the next lesson, you will explore getting only files with loops and conditionals. In this lesson, you will learn how to get only files with loops and conditionals. As with all generators, you can use a for loop to iterate over each item that the generator yields. This will give you a chance to explore some of the properties of each object. For example, you can determine if the object is a directory or a file. You can use the method isDir to determine if the item is a directory and isFile to determine if the item is a file. You can head over to the code to try this out now. For this lesson and following lessons, make sure you have started with pathlib imported in your desktop variable set to your desktop path. If you haven't done this yet, please be sure to reference the previous lesson to see how. Starting with pathlib already imported and desktop already set to your path, you can now start with your for loop. For item in desktop dot iter der parentheses colon and hit enter. And then within the for loop body, you can add an F string to display some information about each item. You can start by typing print parenthesis F double quote and then curly braces. And inside those curly braces, type item. And then move outside those braces and then add a dash, space, and then a new set of curly braces. Inside this set, single quotes. And inside of that, add dir, space, if, item, dot, is, underscore, dir, parentheses, else, single quotes, file. And then on the outside of that curly brace, end it off with the double quotes and then close it off with the parenthesis. The line dir, if item is dir, else file, is a conditional expression. It'll print dir if the item is a directory, or file if it isn't a directory. Go ahead and hit enter. You can see you are now getting back a list of items with a dash indicating whether the item is a directory or file. For example, you may see desktop.ini dash file, notes dash dir, real Python dash dir, and more. You can filter specifically by files within your for loop body. Start by typing for item in desktop dot iter dir parentheses colon enter. And inside the for loop body, add if item dot is underscore file parentheses colon enter and type print item. Now the item will only print if the item is a file. Go ahead and hit enter. You only printed files, in this case, desktop.ini and todo.txt. Another option is to place generators into comprehensions. So to try this out now, start by typing square bracket item for item in desktop.iter der parentheses space if item dot is underscore dir parentheses and then close it off with the remaining square bracket. Go ahead and hit enter. You are now only seeing your directory items. For example, the notes directory, real Python and scripts. But what if you need all the files and directories in the subdirectories of your folder too? You can adapt iterdir as a recursion function. You will learn how to do this in a later tutorial but first you may be better off using rglob, which you'll get to next.